Good morning, Ahmed. <coughs> Ibrahim, Mazen. Assalamu alaikum. Mazen Mahida, good morning, Suleiman. Good morning, Mr. Mazen Atam, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Wonderful. Ahmed Abdullah Al-Anadi, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Hello, Abdullah. May you please, okay, Tamim, may you please yourself all <coughs> you have to start my fishing one okay thank you yalla ibrahim mute yourself ibrahim thank you tamim mute yourself please thank you Okay, now I have to start my session. Uh, today, the students who are going on to discuss uh, a new session discussing crew data. What is meant by crew data? Why we are studying crew data? What is the benefits related to studying crew data? Is there any phenomenon or things you see it on the beaches or in, this, in your daily life related to this lesson or not? All these points, we have to focus it today, inshallah. Good morning, Shari. Assalamualaikum. Salam. How are you doing? What? How are you doing? Fine, fine. Thank you. Faisal? Good. Say hello to him. Hello, my friend. Hello. Uh, mute yourself, students. Mute yourself. Okay. okay. Uh, today I have, like usual, three essential questions. The first question is: What are the features of invertebrates? What are the features of invertebrates, crudits, that place them in the phylum Crudata? Why they are called Crudata? You know what does mean crudata? Any one of you can uh, unmute himself and let me know what is meant by crudata. Is there anybody here? Any one of you can tell me what does mean crudata? No one. Okay. <clears throat> I prepared the meaning of it in the next slide. What are the features of invertebrate crudata? Crudates that place them with invertebrates. Why they are with invertebrates? Okay, what are the features of invertebrate crudates that place them with invertebrates? Okay, third question What are the similarities between adaptation of lanceolates and sea squirts? Here are some questions really need us to consider it. Like usually, we have a new vocab. Dr. Stom, I think we we'll studied it in the previous quarter. Uh, the new word oh, crudate, invertebrate crudate, nodochord, uh, post tunnel tail, dorsal tubular nerve cord, uh, pharyngeal pouch. What does it mean pharyngeal pouch? We will check about this all together in chat. Invertebrate crudate features, invertebrate crudate features. Crudates have four distinctive features at some point in their development. Very important to consider this, dear students. First one, a dorsal tubular nerve cord. What? A dorsal. Ah, this will, I have to make it like this and show that it is really important. I try to check which color is better for you to remember it. Yes, this color, it's okay. Then I make it like this. Yeah. A dorsal tubular nerve cord. Before crudate, crudate there was no, not a real uh, uh, nerve cord. So the nerve cord, I can ask you, according to the development of uh, animals, there was no nerve cord in arthropods. 
in Nidarians. Okay, but it starts a bit in incomplete. You have to know that it starts a bit in word in Kurdic. <coughs> okay, Mazen? Mazen? Yes, miss. Okay, you got the idea? Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Yes, Michelle. Can you repeat? Uh, can you repeat, please? Okay. Because I didn't understand it. Okay. You know what does mean nerve cord, by the way? No. Okay. Look at this. You see this one? The picture. The uh, figure. One. Yeah, in the figure. The blue one. Yes. This is called dorsal tubular nerve cord. Dorsal in science means something related to the back. Okay? Like the back. You understand? Yes. Okay, nerve cord, the nerve cord, you know what does mean nerve cord? This is it's like a rope, nerve rope, okay? That's what you have as a human in your backbone, inside your backbone. It's called nerve cord. You understand? Mm. So yes, it's yes, not yes. appearing in crudite. By the way, I want to tell you something. I didn't start, I was studying something in the, in the college uh, even I made, uh, you know, it was really, when I remember it, my body is shaking from anger because it was really so hard to find one kind of this crudates. Okay, we studied two kinds, Ampioxus lanceolatus and Petromyzum, okay, which chromosome is called Galaxy. These two kinds, they are crudates. I didn't know why we are studying it, but now, you see now, I understand why we studied it. We studied it. Because it is really something important in our daily life. After I finish with it, I understand what's going on. It is not like the previous animals that we studied, arthropods or nidarians or whatever. It's something, something completely different now. Good idea? Great. Yes. <clears throat> Great. So, a dorsal tubular nerve cord. Aha. Uh -huh. Next one. A notochord. Notochord. What does it mean, notochord? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not a cord. What does mean not a cord? Not a cord. You look here. You see it? The red one, the red cord. It is called the not a cord. It is like in the in the mesoderm, okay? In the middle part, close to the middle part. What its function? What it's doing? Step by step, you will know everything. Then pharyngeal pouches. Pharyngeal pouches. What does mean pharyngeal pouches? Pharyngeal pouches. What does mean pharyngeal pouches? Are you here, the student? I know that the sound is on and yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I know, but it's out of my control, I swear. I think when I sent you this in my channel or in the group, you can watch it easily, yeah? Yes. That's amazing, yeah? Um, okay. Pharyngeal pouches. Look at the, you know what does mean bouch? Bouch means uh, a bag of saving something. A bag of saving something. You understand? We are calling that uh, can kangaroo. You know kangaroo animal? Yes. Yeah, the kangaroo animal has a bouch for saving its young. This bouch for saving its young. It is looking like a bouch. Look here, it is looking like a bouch. Do you see it now? Mm. Yeah. So, apostinal tail. Apostinal tail. What does mean apostinal tail? Look at the tail. This is called apostinal tail. Why it is apostinal tail? We will know everything step by step. Okay? Okay. Come on, I want to read this with you. An example of Corbata. This is very important because this is exactly what I studied. But I'm simplif I simplified it as much as possible. Corbata is a large phylum of animals that include the vertebrates together with the sea squares and lanceolates. They are distinguished by the position of notochord at some stage during their development. No two chords. No two chords. Again, I think now you know how important is it. 
Okay, technically, an invertebrate like Amphiopsis lanceolatus, what I told you, is classified in subphylum Protocrodatum. So the entrance of Crodatum, phylum Crodatum. That's all what I want you to know from this slide. Okay, look at it. How do you ever see this animal in the beach? Tamim, have you ever seen mm. this animal on the beach? Mazin, have you ever seen it? No. I saw it many times in the Red Sea. If you are swimming in Jeddah, in southern Abhor, you know southern Abhor or northern Abhor, if you are going... Yes, I know. Yes. And I see it. Yes. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I visit all these places, by the way. I, you can recognize on the rocks some small fish looking like this. This is looking like a fish. It is fish, but it's not a serious, it's not a real fish. Um, somebody is laying with it. Okay. 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 So, <clears throat> This is the animal what I told you, Ampioxus lanceolatus. You know, I suffered enough to find it then. I suffered enough to make anatomy in its body. I suffered enough to find its pouch. I suffered enough to show the muscle to the doctor, to my professor. It was something serious. Be ready for that because it is very famous in the Middle East. All the colleges in the Middle East are studying this. Okay, now we are going on to discuss its body. How it's looking like, what's going on in their body. Amphioxus body structure. Look here, here there is notochord. This is called a notochord. Then above it, directly, there is a nerve cord. Okay? Here there is a fin ray. You know the fin? Fin? Fins. Fins uh, like um, something to facilitate its movement. Okay? Caudal fin. Here, exactly, there is endostyle. Endostyle is like the mouth. It is called the endostyle. Then there is a gill slit. You know gills, what does mean gills? So no, gill slit. Gills, exactly, for uh, <coughs> filtrating oxygen from the water. Here is the liver. And then there is gonads. Here are gonads, okay? Then finally, there is the anus of uh, uh, throwing out the undigested food. <clears throat> we cannot say waste. It's not waste. By the way, the stool is not waste. Stool, any kind of animals, is not a waste. The waste, the waste that coming from urine, because it's the, what the body gets rid of this waste through the kidneys and the skin. This is called waste. But here it is undigested food. You got the idea now? Because there is big difference when we are speaking about excretory system in humans, what we will you will study it inshallah in grade 12, it is not related at all with the, the digestive system. This is something completely different. You got the idea? I hope so. <clears throat> That's wonderful. Okay. Invertebrate Crodata teachers. Crudates also have a solemn, oh my God, solemn and segmentation. There is a solemn, you remember a solemn and solomate and pseudosolomate, you remember that? I think you know it very well, Mshari. And also you, Tamim. Yes, I remember. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, yeah. And segmentation. And the yes. crudates have a dorsal tubular nerve cord. This is great, exactly what we told and we discussed it. A notochord, a uh, 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 pharyngeal pouch, a posternal, a posternal tail, and possibly an ancestral thyroid gland. Thyroid gland? Thyroid gland, what you have around your trachea. We told its function, just briefly to know the function of it. I have to write it for you here. Just a moment. Thyroid glands. 
generally have two functions. We have what two functions? What are these functions? Uh -huh, sorry. Which are what is this function? One. Making summary. A good. I can summary up. Mute yourself, please. Making a good. Okay. 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 Balance. Making a good balance. Of calcium in the body. This is the first function. Two, controlling, controlling the cellular. Metabolism, the cellular metabolism. This is the real function of this uh, product. The real uh, function of this. Just a moment, I want to take this away to make it easy for you. Yeah, I think now it is clear for you to write it. Yes or not? Yes. Okay, did you write it or not yet? Did you? Yes, yes. No, no. I, I finished. Let's do it fast, please. Yes, okay. Go on. Okay, wonderful. Um, okay, I uh, for the students who didn't finish with it, I tap it now and send it in the group. Okay, it will be easier for you. Uh, great, yes, this is great. I catch it now. Okay, I send it in the group now, so it will be easy for you. Have you got it? Yes. Wonderful. Now I'm moving to the next page. And that's a great for that feature. Okay, let's come to discuss what this means by notochord. The notochord is a flexible rod like structure that extends the length of the body. Oh my God, now I think you know what is the function of it. Who can tell me what is the function of it? Ahmed, Ahmed al -Anazi. can you please tell me what is the function of it? Ahmed, you were online, you were speaking with me when I started the decision. This meaning that it's, uh, you don't want, in a way you are missing marks because of this. Ahmed, Ibrahim al Nasser. Okay, Ahmed, you got zero about, about activity. Okay. Ibrahim Nasser, can you please tell me what is the main function of notochord in computer or in uh, credit? I didn't know. Sorry? I didn't know. Uh, okay, imagine if somebody needed to help you. Okay, imagine. Yes, the notochord make uh, a flexibility in the movement of the animal. Uh -huh. So, you, can you please uh, speak to your friend Ibrahim to help him? Then I, ask, I have to ask Ibrahim myself. Ibrahim, contact your friend and ask him. Yes, what? Ma uh, Matt, huh? no, Matt, no, this is for helping you. Yes, Matt. Um, yes, it makes a flexibility to the animal and in his movements. Huh. Have you got it, Ibrahim, or not yet? No, how? I didn't understand. Can you almost have a, like, tell me? Nazar Hassan, now he told that he's ready. He raised his hand and he's ready to help you. You didn't understand uh, it well from him. You need somebody else to help you? 
No, it's okay. Can you relate to Azen? Yes, it makes flexibility to the animals uh, in their movements. Ah, the movements okay. more easier. So you got it now? Yes. So what is the function of the cord in, in, in crudate? It makes uh, flexibility to the animal for the to have easier. Okay, so it is flex making the, the movement is flexible and at the same moment it is saving the uh, uh, dorsal tubular to our cord. Is that the idea now? Yes. Look at the picture. In the end of uh, this uh, notochord, look at the end, there is muscles, blocks. There is blocks of muscles. Do you see it? Yes. Yeah, these muscles are helping this animal for movement. Muscles with this notochord, it is helping this animal to move in flexible way. You got the idea now? Yes, I got that. Is it clear? Yes. So the man in the head, is it clear for you or not yet? Suleiman, Suleiman and Mahader. Okay, Suleiman, he good zero also. Suleiman and Mahader and Ahmed, uh, Ahmed and uh, also he good zero, both of them, no problem. Okay, postinal tail, postinal tail. We want to know what does mean postinal tail. Postinal tail. A postinal tail is a structure used primarily for locomotion and is located behind the digestive system and amus. Exactly behind, you see it, what is it? Uh-huh, the postinal. You see what is it? So it is, here is not the end of the body. This means it is not the anus. okay? It is away. Anus is almost in the last one third of the, the last third of the body. In the beginning of the last third, but in the last end, in the last of the body, in the end of the body, it is mentioned here. This is the postal tail. So the postal tail is a structure used primarily for locomotion and is located behind the digestive system and anus. Tails in non predate contain. Yes, madam. Mr. Suleiman uh, sent a message for me that uh, you have a problem with his mute. This is not working with me. In the beginning, he, he answered me. All these are not teaching me. Well, I'm not the first session, well, I'm not the last session. Well, what serious about what we are doing every day? I told you every session I'm sending a report to the administration because there will be exam. You have, there will be exam. I'm telling you to understand. So there is no time for a blame or, or it's, it's not a free fairy tale to just I'm telling you something before sleeping. You are sleeping on yourself, it's not touching me. I'm getting up two hours early to prepare this for you, to sit and wait for you. And until now, I have only nine participants. Why? Where are the others? It's up to you. So please, don't speak with me about this. This is not touching me at all. Find solution for your problem, Suleiman. But you now got zero, Ahmed. You got zero, Ahmed. No, I think he left. Ahmed, no, he is here. Okay, but Ahmed also got zero. About participants. Up to him. Tails in. Non crudates contain a protein of the digestive tract. So, non crudates, there are crudates and there are non crudates. Non crudates, they contain a protein for digestive tract, for the digestive system of them. This is called tract. Okay. Let's come to discuss the dorsal tubular nerve cord. The dorsal tubular nerve cord is located dorsal, dorsal, I said in the back, it is meaning back, to the digestive organ and is a tube shape. It is looking like a tube, as you see it. The anterior end, anterior end, look at it, of this cord becomes the brain. So this part is the brain. You understand now? Okay. This part is the brain. This is the brain. I think now it is clear for you. Okay? Okay. 
السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام عبد الله شافي سوري عبد الله شافي Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I was. It's uh, okay. But just telling you that you are so so late. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now, Suleiman Mahida, what do you want, Suleiman? Okay. Uh, the anterior end of this crow become the brain, and the posterior end becomes the spinal cord. So this part. As I show you, it is the brain. The rest of it is the spinal cord. So it is close to what we have as a human. We have the brain, then the... Uh, who is contacting me here? Uh, I have a problem with mute. I have a problem with unmute. Okay, I'll try to unmute you. Unmute. Mm. I try to help you, Salman. Find the problem yourself. Find the solution for this problem. Okay. Time is gonna be over, really. Um, we have less than five minutes to finish with this. So give me the chance to finish with this. So look at this part. It is exactly as you see. The front part is a bit thick, a bit thick than the rest of this cord. So this thick part is the brain. So where you could find the first brain shape in all animals, in all animal kingdoms, it is found in crudate. It is found where in crudate. Good idea now? I think it is looking clear to all of you. This is why we call it crudate. Crudate means would come from core, that they have core in the back or in the dorsal. You understand? That's wonderful. So the anterior end of this core becomes the brain, and then the posterior end becomes the spinal cord during development of most critics. I think now everything is looking clear to all of you right now. Am I right? Yes. Wonderful. Um, I think I have to stop with this now, then we will continue, inshallah. Uh, next session with page 11 about the uh, pharyngeal pouches, how it would like, what it functions, what it contains, and everything related to it. Any questions, okay. dear students? No, thank, thank you. Mr. You're welcome, dear students. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Say hello to all of you and your parents as well, and please speak with your colleagues to, to contact me because this situation is serious and we are going on to have exams soon as i told you ramadan is coming and i think third of ramadan exams will start then the uh, the way of the exam and how you will be examined this is exactly uh, this is exactly the